Professor Swati Sudhakar, a faculty member at the Department of Applied Mechanics and Biomedical Engineering, is leading pioneering research work at the intersection of nanotherapeutics, single molecule biophysics, and space medicine. Her research focuses on developing next generation nanomaterials for treating cancer, Alzheimer's, and osteoporosis, while also advancing diagnostic tools for diseases like tuberculosis and sepsis. 35 high end publications and a commitment to monitor next generation of scientists. She's shaping the world of biomedical engineering, one discovery at a time. And with so much happening in her field, we can't help but ask, what's growing? Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Swati Sudhakar. I'm an assistant professor in the Department of Applied Mechanics and Biomedical Engineering. And uh, what I do, so we work on uh, uh, nanotherapeutics and space therapeutics and also on nanosensors. I'm heading a nanomolecular lab. So in my lab, we focus on different diseases, including cancer, osteoporosis, and Alzheimer's. And uh, what we do is that we, we try to understand how the molecules inside the cells, like, you know, they talk with each other. And also, if they are not talking with each other in a proper way, we come up with the therapies where it, we can make these proteins and molecules to talk with them in a proper way, so that we can, like you know, come up with the remedies uh, for the for the diseases. And uh, the first disease which we are focusing is on cancer. So we know, like you know, that like a lot of people are dying because of the cancer, and the conventional chemotherapies, what people are using currently, they are associated with a lot of side effects. And people started to work on nanomedicines, but the problem with the current conventional nanomedicine is that uh, again they lack the colloidal stability. And if you want to store these drugs in room temperature, then there is a like you know biggest problem because uh, always all the medicines are stored in refrigerators. So, and in addition to that, the therapeutic efficacy is also really really less. So that comes the research gap which we are focusing on. And in my lab, we are working on next generation nanomaterials where we are designing a, a novel formulations uh, which can be uh, efficiently can treat the diseases as well as they can be stored at room temperature. So in this line, we have invented um, uh, a, a novel formulation with the nano archisms which has been patented and patent has been granted. And in that line, we have also published several publications. In addition to that, we also work on next generation materials including nanomaterials, protein nanocages, DNA nanocages and all those stuff. And the other research area which we are pioneering is on space therapeutics. Uh, so we all know about what like you know what the people who are living in the earth which they are undergoing. But like you know, there are a few people who are working on the problems associated with the astronauts. So these astronauts, when they are exposed to the microgravity conditions, they face a lot of problems. So one of the problems is the osteoporosis. So in my lab, we are also working on, um, uh, with collaboration with the ISRO, we are also working on, um, on the development of novel strategies and now nano formulations to treat osteoporosis in space for the astronauts. And uh, in addition to that, we also work on different types of sensors uh, for detecting diseases. So these are the, uh, the three verticals uh, like, you know, that we are progressing in my lab. And uh, we have published more than like 20 publications in the last three years uh, in a high impact factor journals. And also we have filed more than 20 patents and uh, like, you know, out of like you know, three to four patents have been granted in, the, in, in this year itself. And one of the main uh, patent is on, um, we use the microgravity as a platform uh, to enhance the drug loading efficiency in the nanomaterials. And the other one is coming up with some kind of delivery vehicles where you can store the drug in the room temperatures. And these are the, uh, the important researches which we are uh, going in my lab. In addition to that, like uh, recently I also received a, a young faculty, a young scientist award uh, from Tamil Nadu government uh, and I would like to thank the department and as well as the institute for supporting me. I also received a Humboldt uh, short term grant, uh, so where I recently went to Germany and like you know we worked on some collaborative work. In addition to that, we have like a lot of uh, uh, joint proposal. Uh, with other countries which includes uh, Korea, Australia, uh, Netherlands 
and we have also a lot of collaboration in Germany and Bulgaria. So these are my notable collaborations. And one more uh, collaboration which we are working again on uh, protein material is with Japan. And uh, so, um, uh, yeah, like, you know, I would like to mention that these are the collaborations which I established after joining IIT Madras. I would also like to add that uh, in the past month, we have also conducted a, a workshop in Fontes and Nanomedicines and Zebrafish Modeling, which is funded by ICMR. And I also saw like, you know, a lot of students who have been benefited from that workshop. And we are also planning to conduct one more workshop in the near future where you are always like invited to join that workshop where you will be getting like a hands-on experience in nanomaterial synthesis and their applications in cellular studies as well as in terms of space therapeutics. So regarding the international collaborations, so I have established a lot of collaboration after coming to IIT Madras thanks to the global engagement team. Uh, IIT Madras. So, like you know, we are collaborating with uh, different universities, including uh, Deakin University, University Technical Sydney from Australia, and also Erasmus Medical Centre from uh, Netherlands, and also University of Beirut. This is like you know because of this humble short-term grant, I'm mean, like you know uh, collaborating with University of Beirut in Germany, and we are also in addition to that, we are also collaborating with the different countries from Japan, Korea. We have also a close collaborator from University of Birmingham in UK. And also, we are also collaborating with Temple University in the US. So, my research lab is not only um, uh, it's not only like you know we are open and we are collaborating with many different countries so that we can uh, take the research to the next level. So, we also collaborate with uh, uh, like Bulgarian universities uh, in Bulgaria, and also one of my other collaborators is from Leeds University, UK. Uh, so this all of my project mostly focusing on uh, nanotherapeutics in cancers and also like you know uh, coming up with novel therapeutic nanotherapeutic solutions on bone related disease. So in the past three years uh, I've been traveled to many countries where I was like presenting my work and in that one particular thing is uh, DSD nominated me as a young scientist to present my work in, uh, in BRICS meet which happened in uh, Russia. So that I was like presenting our novel nano formulations which can be stored at room temperature uh, which will be like really beneficial for the rural populations because it doesn't need refrigeration. In the last three years our lab has been grown uh, uh, extensively I would say and especially I would like to thank the Department of Applied Mechanics and Biomedical Engineering and IIT Madras for providing me all the facilities and uh, like you know giving me immense support to grow. Uh, I would like to conclude by saying our group is a vibrant group and young energetic group uh, where we are doing a lot of research works and like you know we are also happy to uh, uh, happy uh, like you know, if you want to hear and like look at my lab and then like know more about our lab and know more about what we are doing exactly and we welcome you all to my lab and uh, yeah thank you.